The euro sinks to a 15-month low and the ECB is forced to step back into the market after a poorly received Italian debt auction. Rome's 10-year bond yield eased at the sale from euro lifetime highs hit last month, but quickly climbed back above 7%. And today's auction has done little to calm fears of a chaotic first quarter for Italy's finances, with borrowing costs still seen as being close to unsustainable. Dealers reported the ECB buying small quantities of Italian bonds on the open market. Prime Minister Mario Monti says he'll present a growth strategy to EU finance ministers on January the 23rd, aimed at reducing the number of young unemployed. Well, not surprisingly, the European debt crisis is dominating thin holiday markets as 2011 draws to a close. We're looking ahead to the last trading session of the year now, and the Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy is due to announce detailed spending cuts on Friday. The new centre-right government needs to find savings of around 20 billion euros to meet its deficit target of 4.4% of GDP next year. Unions say minimum wages will be frozen in an effort to rein in one of the eurozone's biggest deficits. Spain's borrowing costs, which had risen close to the critical 7% level, have dropped since the ECB's injection of nearly half a trillion euros in cheap loans earlier this month. Alistair Newton, senior political analyst at Namura, says the Spanish government is better placed than its Italian counterpart. He is the head of a democratically elected government. He has a mandate for what he is going to have to do in Spain, which should help him in the weeks and months to come of what is going to be a long and tough road, despite the progress with structural reform and fiscal retrenchment, which the previous outgoing government made. Now, where Rajoy is likely to run into significant problems, in my view, is that he is going to have to face down the public sector unions. In other news, preliminary data showed German inflation slowed by more than expected to an annual rate of 2.1% in December. It's the lowest reading since March and closer to the ECB's Eurozone target of just under 2%. Turkish warplanes have launched airstrikes against suspected Kurdish militants in northern Iraq. Local officials say the action killed at least 35 smugglers who were mistaken for guerrillas. And the U.S. Fifth Fleet says it will not allow any disruption to shipping in the Strait of Hormuz. The move comes after Iran threatened to stop traffic moving along the world's most important oil route. That's all from us for now. I'm Nigel Stevenson. This is Reuters.